Hello, my name is John Griffin Donlan, but a lot of people call me Dr. Leisure. I enjoy making these short videos on a variety of topics like food and fashion, travel, literature. I like making these short videos and I hope that you enjoy watching them. But if you don't, that's fine too. No doubt men threw axes and hatches as soon as there are axes and hatches. I dimly recall being in Boy Scouts decades ago among the dumbasses throwing our belt hatchets at trees like damn fools and ju jumping around not to take an east wing to the noggin or lose a toe when the things bounced back. But more recently, taverns and popular culture have embraced throwing the tools as a sport. I've been curious about various ballistic interests from Japanese archers to bar darts so when a tree took out a big section of my fence, I had the fence repaired and rehabilitated much of the lost wood as a target for knife and axe throwing. <clears throat> I have a backyard and I bought some cheap hatchets. I don't live near a throwing bar, so I cut some pine. Uh, they say cottonwood is better but it was unavailable, and created the axe side, then worked on the waste wood. It was only a little investment of time to pull old fasteners, then chop the 2x4s and a few 2x6s into size to fit a frame. I had a, a gallon of glue, which I used lavishly, and then pinned the sawed blocks in place with long rock screws from time to time to improve row integrity. The end grain is fine to receive a set of basic economical throwing knives I ordered from Amazon. On the other side, I'll screw the sacrificial board built surface for the axes and hatchets. I ground a better edge onto three hardware store tools. If this turns out to be fun, perhaps I'll invest in real hatchets. I didn't really think the project flew entirely. The target is enormously heavy. It will have to be wheel mounted. An unplanned for expense. More details if I make a part two about hatchet throwing. <laughs>